So David Beckham is of course now in Ultimate Team and I have just sniped the base version off the market so today we're going to do a player review on him. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your Ultimate Team then check out the link in the description igvault.com and if you use the code Kieran at checkout you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. So Beckham literally came onto the market a couple of hours ago, so right now he's pretty rare. There is not many of this card on the market. He's currently extinct, and that's obviously why I had to snipe him. I also had to pay his max price of 1 million coins, which is a price which I just don't see him staying at at all. Obviously, once more of these are packs, uh, once more of these cards are packed, sorry, um, this card will come down in price. So straight away, I don't think it's good value to uh, pick this card up at this point. But um, anyway, this is the team we're going to be using him in. We're going to stay with the narrow 4 one 2, one, two. We're going to try him out on, uh, well, in both centre mid rolls. We're also going to try him out as a cam as well. And this is his item. So uh, free star, free star, not particularly too ideal, but not the end of the world. Stands at six foot and does indeed have medium, medium wear crates. In terms of traits, there's uh, there's plenty to discuss, which normally we don't normally have. Finesse shot, early crosser and outside the foot shot, all hopefully will be very useful in game. In terms of in-game stats, where do we begin? Well, first of all, his pace at 78, he's not rapid, but that's definitely not slow for a midfielder, so that's pretty good. We are, of course, going to be using the Shadow Chem style to give that a big boost, though. His shooting stats for a midfielder are excellent. 86 shot power, 90 long shots, 80 finishing, 91 attack positioning. For a mid, those attributes are very, very good, and his passing stats are just... They're elite, aren't they? They are top tier. 92 vision, 93 crossing, 94 free kick accuracy, 92 long passing, 97 curve. Um, yeah, those are end game attributes for a distributor. Uh, the dribbling is also up to a good standard. Agility isn't the best at 77, and with him being six foot tall, I don't think he'll feel too great on the ball. But he does have nice ball control of 91 and really high composure of 91. Um, I meant to say he has nice ball control of 90. Um, defensively, not looking too great. As I say, 74 interceptions, um, 70 stand tackle. That's one of the reasons we're putting the shadow chem style on him to help, you know, just round him out a bit more. And then finally, physically, okay, stamina of 83 and uh, a nice combination of uh, strength and aggression with 75 and 84 respectively. So, um, yeah, not a bad card at all for a base icon in my opinion, but um, doesn't look to be a card worth a million coins, but that's before playing with him. Maybe he'll be an absolute beast in game. There's only one way to find out, so let's get to some matches and let's see. Straight into the action we go then, and we are up against this little... Premier League kind of hybrid. Uh, I think there was a Ben Yedder in there. The team goes so quickly now. When I press record, I barely got time to see the team. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a Premier League team with a Ben Yedder just stuck in for good measure. Oh, we have ourselves an early penalty. Can we get David Beckham on the scoreboard early doors? He has to step up and take it. Um, we're going to dummy to the right, and then we're going to go down the middle. Hopefully, he takes the bait, and he does. And we uh, open the scoring, and that is not David Beckham. That game face is incorrect. Um, fun fact, right now, if you're on PS4, the old gen version, he actually has a proper uh, like face scan, but if you're on next gen, he looks like that, which is, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, just, you know, FIFA, EA, like, come on. There's Beckham on the edge of the box, has space and time, and pff, don't give him space and time. He's got insane long shots, insane curve, and you saw that right there. Beckham goes from distance again, and what is going on? I don't normally score long shots like this. Like, he, he, my, my opponent, fair enough, is not defending well, but these long shots don't normally ping in like this. Beckham links up now with Mbappe. What are we going to do here? Place the ball down the wing. Here's a chance. David Beckham. Flicks it through for Mbappe to chase. Can we keep this in? Of course we can. Mbappe finds the ball into the box. We find Beckham eventually and we should have got a goal. Well, half time's come around and we have ourselves a pretty comfortable 4-1 lead. Hopefully one which we can extend in at the second 45. Beckham with a nice dink into Mbappe who's going to take on his man. And he's going to do really well to do so. And just after the break, we make it 5. And there is full time. The game ends in a pretty nice 5 1 scoreline. And um, yeah, hell of a debut for Beckham, who picks up the match ball. One of his goals was a penalty, and the other two were just, you know, some really, really nice long shots. Finally, we get into a match. And um, yeah, I hate how quickly like the teams go now. Like I would I would honestly rather like wait a bit longer to go get into the game and see the team. It's just stupid. 
Um, it was some kind of hybrid with Costaman at the back and Ben Yedder up front, so just a pretty meta side, I imagine. I have really struggled to get the ball in at this match, but now Beckham has possession. I'm going to go for that long ball over the top for Mbappe, and it's a very nice long ball too. Puts Mbappe in space, and Mbappe, very unfortunate not to open the score in there with that left foot strike. Here's a chance. Mbappe in some space, puts the ball in the box. Chance for Beckham. Oh, what is he doing? Didn't really commit to that header, did he, at all? But eventually we score, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it's 1-1 at the break, and I won't lie, guys, we are in trouble. My opponent is um, he's pretty good at the game, and he is just, like, smothering me right now. So, yeah, um, I wasn't exaggerating. We have had 22% possession. So, uh, yeah, it's been a, a really brutal first 45. Here's Beckham, the pass into Mbappe, tries to return the favour, Beckham does get to it, but there's not many options in the box, unfortunately, um, he gets pushed off the ball, but he's won it back, but lost it again. Is that one more chance? Oh, referee! How can you blow there? Oh, wow, we could have won the game there and then, absolute robbery. Anyway, these are the full-time stats. Like I said at half-time, we are up against it. It's been a really tough game. Possession's been scarce. When we get the ball, we've just got to try and, you know, see what we can do with it. Oh, the ball's dropped for Beckham. Oh, what a chance that was to win the game. What a chance that was. Bappe puts the ball through the middle for Beckham, who's going to try and get past Jordi Alba, but doesn't quite have enough about him to do that. There's full time. Unfortunately, we lose the game 3 2. In all honesty, it was probably deserved, but wow, that was a boring game. Like, my opponent was good at the game. I'm not going to take anything away from him, but what a boring play style. Just, yeah, just didn't push forward, like, rarely push forward and just wanted to keep the ball. Very, very frustrating. But, um, yeah, we end the game in a 3 2 scoreline. How was Beckham in that game? Um, had his moments, had his chances, but um, ultimately didn't take them in at that game. Um, it's hard to get him involved in in those kind of matches. I want him on the ball distributing and ultimately we didn't get him the ball too much. Okay, so now we've played a bunch more games with this Beckham item. It's time to do the review portion of the video and all in all, I think it's, you know, a decent card, but it's it's not an excellent item and that is a bit of a shame. I'll be honest, I did want to like this card. I was hoping it was going to be really good, but yeah, it's just an item which doesn't really fit the ultimate team meta and that is unfortunate. It's also one of them cards which I feel if you're not using him as a centre mid, you're kind of wasting it because like, although he can play cam and DM to an okay standard, there are so many better cams in the game now and there are so many better DMs. So if you're not going to use it as a centre mid, I feel like you're just putting yourself um, out a bit. So I wouldn't advise that. Um, anyway, let's break things down. First of all, the pace. I was a bit disappointed in that, to be honest. Now, I wasn't expecting him to be rapid, but I thought he'd be a bit quicker with the Shadow Chem style, and ultimately, he just wasn't. He was caught up very easily by most players, and that was a bit of a shame. Also, in terms of reacting to situations, he felt a bit slow in that area as well, which is, uh, yeah, unfortunate. When it comes to shooting, though, um, the guy certainly can score from distance. He has some insane long shots, really good shot power, and the guy can certainly strike a ball, which is very, very nice. And obviously, Obviously, he's also a good option for set pieces. Distribution-wise, his passing was excellent. Top, top draw. Short passing, long passing, crossing, whatever it is, this guy's passing is up there with the best in the game. Like, yeah, easy, easily. Off his right foot anyway. Got a freestyle weak foot and he is very limited because of that. And uh, yeah, if you don't go off his right, you're probably going to have some problems because his left foot will let you down. Now we come on to the dribbling, which at times I thought was brilliant, but on other occasions didn't feel that great. Obviously, he's six foot and doesn't have great agility, so his ability to turn isn't all that special, but he does have nice ball control, which is good, so he can protect the ball to a decent standard. And even when under pressure, he's got good composure and good ball control to try and protect the ball for a bit of time, which is good. And uh, physically, I also thought, you know what, his physical stats were all right. His stamina held up rather nicely, and his strength and aggression were good enough for him to protect the ball and to win it back from some players. Defensively, though, I thought he was... Yeah, not great. Like, he's the kind of player who makes an inception or makes a tackle and then, like, gives up the ball quite quickly, which was uh, a bit unfortunate. Definitely would not use this guy as a lone DM. He could do all right in a 2DM partnership, but um, as a lone DM, um, I feel like you would be putting yourself in a bit of trouble. Um, in regards to positioning, I thought when going forward, his positioning was actually very good, but when defending, he was a bit all over the place, so, uh, yeah, a bit of hit and miss right there. 
Um, so all in all, I'm going to say the card is decent, but um, that's probably about it. He's a top class distributor, but um, he is lacking in other areas, so uh, that is a bit of a shame. But um, yeah, a fun item to try out nonetheless, and uh, hopefully you guys can get your hands on it at some point, because obviously it's a new icon, and uh, hopefully you all just get the chance to uh, give it a go at some point. And who knows, maybe some of you will enjoy it more than I did, maybe some of you will uh, hate it, um, who knows. Um, anyway guys, those are my thoughts on the 87 rated base icon Beckham. Is he worth a million coins? Definitely not, but obviously we know his price is going to come down. Um, thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.